I don't believe so, but I wasn't here for the weekend, so okay. I really can't answer those questions. A TV6 exclusive investigation, a teen's death bringing up more questions about an area pool and event center. Top of your news at 6 tonight, the exclusive information tonight surrounding the death of a Rock Island High School student. Good evening, I'm Gary with TVA. I'm Paula Sands. The Henry County Coroner confirms 17-year-old Tyler John drowned in the Hillcrest Event Center pool in Orion. A toxicology report is pending, but the coroner says the teen had no other injuries. The center's managers say the pool is closed now pending a state inspection, but TV6 Investigates has found the pool was shut down by the state last year. The state says the pool should have never been reopened. TV6 investigator Mark Stevens went out to the pool to try to find out why it was open this past weekend. At the Hillcrest Event Center, we found staff members cleaning the pool. The gate was open. We couldn't find a closed sign. And we walked in before a staff member told us the pool was closed. Is there a sign that pulls you up and says pool closed? Um, not really. The resort isn't even open yet. We're only open for, we had campers and stuff here, but that's it. General Manager Dan Cost told me he wasn't sure if the pool was open this weekend, although the center's Facebook page and website included links to weekend camping deals, which included daily pool passes. I don't believe so, but I wasn't here for the weekend, so okay. I really can't answer those questions. Are you trying to get the pool open for business? I'm just asking because the state had shut, shut it down last year for operating without a license. And on the database, it still says that it hasn't been reauthorized yet. You know, I don't know. The State Department of Public Health currently has a hearing set for June 28th for the Hillcrest Resort where they're trying to assess a $12,000 civil penalty because the pool was operated without a license and was shut down last year. A current check of the pool's status on the state database shows that it's currently not authorized to operate. Cost referred us to the Henry County Sheriff and his company communications director. The sheriff didn't return my phone call today, but when I talked to him yesterday, he didn't know the pool had been shut down by the state last year. We caught up with Hillcrest's communications director, Kirsten Zerzanik, at the company president's home. Well, the pool was open on Memorial Weekend. Oh. After the incident, it closed down, um, and we cannot reopen until we have our inspection by the state. Did the state ever reauthorize you guys to open from last I have year? No, I have no idea on that information. The state inspection last year found a laundry list of violations. The pool operated without a license for over two months. The pool's chlorine and pH didn't meet state standards. The bathrooms didn't have soap. Water testing records were missing. The state gave the pool a swimming facility close sign. We couldn't find it. I don't know between the two of them who's responsible for that. I think that Dan would be able to answer the question, but I'm not positive. The State Department of Health spokesperson answered our question. She said the facility is still unlicensed and should not have been open. In Orion, Mark Stevens, KWQC, TV6 News. The event center is currently challenging a foreclosure case against it in federal court. The Small Business Administration says Hillcrest defaulted on a taxpayer-funded loan issued to it in 1994 for storm damage recovery. The SBA says it's owed a total of $175,000. Company President Terry Koss says the told the court the SBA offered to have that loan forgiven, but says she filed the necessary paperwork, but the SBA never completed the process. Illinois